Today, I'm diving into the world of how-to books and how you can create and publish them for Kindle Direct Publishing. If you're passionate about sharing your knowledge and expertise, this video is for you. So let's get started. How-to books tend to sell well on Amazon because they provide practical solutions to specific problems, helping readers achieve their goals. These books cater to a wide range of interests and school levels, making them appealing to a diverse audience. Additionally, the clear and actionable format of how-to books makes them easy to follow and apply in real-life situations, increasing their value for readers. How-to books can be formatted for ebooks, audiobooks, paperback and hardback, which increase your sales prospects. As a bonus, I'm going to show you how to create these books with the assistance of AI and how you can use OneNote to help you organise your book. So stick around for these great tips. Let's have a look at Amazon to get some ideas as to what type of how-to book you can write. Try and find an idea or topic that you know something about, or a topic you have an interest in and you want to learn more by doing research. You can then create a book with what you've learned. I'm using the Amazon Suggestion Expander plugin, which will show you more results. I will put the link to this plugin down below in the description. So as we type in how to, it brings up what customers are actually searching for. And here are some of the obvious results. How to build, how to get, how to make. It brings up various results, how to use. You can search Amazon with how to and then go through the alphabet to see what comes up. Remember, Amazon is showing you what customers are actually searching for. Since I have a background in dog training, I'm going to search how to train a dog. Now I can research the top books for dog training on Amazon. I can see the covers and the titles that are being used. I can use this information in Publisher Rocket as part of my research. And there are lots of titles here in relation to dog training. When I open up Publisher Rocket, I can also search how to train a dog. And this will bring back some of the top searches and as I click on the magnifying glass, it will bring up more information about the average page numbers, the number of competitors, the average price, average monthly earnings, estimated searches per month, and the competitive score. I can go through this list now and view all the other keywords. How to train a dog book. Now these keywords all have a good number of estimated Amazon searches per month and their competitive scores aren't too bad. So from these results, I can see that if I create a dog training book, I should get some good results. As a way to organize my book project, I like to use OneNote. There is a desktop version and an app version. I prefer the layout of the desktop version. I'm using the desktop version here. I'm gonna create a new notebook, how to train a dog. And the first section I type in will be the title of the book. On the next tab across, I'm going to include all my book content and chapters. And the good thing about OneNote is as you open up a tab, you can add pages to those tabs. So the first page in this tab will be my foreword, then followed by the, my introduction, copyright information, and then I'm going to start with my chapters. I'm now opening a third tab where I'm going to do my research in relation to some chapter ideas. So I'll call this tab Book Ideas from AI. And I can rearrange the tabs in whatever order I would like them to be. So now I'm going to go over to ChatGPT and I'm going to ask it a question. I'm going to type into ChatGPT, create book chapter ideas for how to train a dog. I'm amazed how quickly ChatGPT brings back results. 
it has brought back a number of chapter ideas, including bullet points for each chapter, which I can expand on. As I have a background in dog training, I can generally see if the information is correct or whether it's given me false information. I also have access to notes and books that I use when I was instructing dog obedience classes. So I can refer to my own notes and compare what information has been brought back to me through ChatGPT. So I'm going to copy this result from ChatGPT and take it over to OneNote and paste it into my AI Ideas tab. And here I have reference that I can use when building out my chapters. I'm going to now ask ChatGPT to explain the difference between positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement. And these are training terms that we use in relation to dog training. ChatGPT quickly brings back some information in relation to my request. And it's quite detailed in its response. Once again, I will then grab this text, copy and paste it into OneNote. And what I can do now, if I'm happy with the chapter titles, I can now add them as my chapter titles for my book. It's a starting point. It does not mean that this will be how the book finally ends up, but it is somewhere for me to start. I have the option to go back and modify any of these chapter titles at any stage. It just gives me a starting point. So let's go grab the other chapters. Chapter two, this is allowing me to build on the information that I've received from ChatGPT. I can then add my own material to these titles or I can change them completely. I don't have to use all the information provided by ChatGPT, I just have to use information that I find to be relevant to what I want to put in my book. It is a great way to generate ideas to get you thinking. Used in conjunction with other reference material, it is a great way to start writing your book. So now I'm asking ChatGPT to explain how to teach a dog to sit using positive training methods. This is one of the first exercises we teach in dog obedience training. It's a fairly easy exercise, but I'm just interested to see how ChatGPT deals with this question. I'm looking for accuracy and currency in relation to what's being provided here. Once again, I can put this information into OneNote just by copying and pasting from ChatGPT. Now having quickly just perused this uh, text, I find it to be fairly accurate and current as to methods used for teaching a dog through positive reinforcement how to sit. It's not bad. Now I'm going to ask you something a little bit more complex on how to teach a dog how to retrieve a dumbbell, which is one of the more advanced exercises that we teach in dog obedience training. Chat GPT quickly brings back the result and again is providing a fair amount of detail. I'm quickly perusing the information that's coming back and what I can see appears to be quite accurate and current. Once again I will copy this information and paste it into OneNote. Yes, I'm quite happy with what's been provided here. I would probably change some of the wording. However, the methods that are shown here are quite sound. So now I'm moving on and going to create another tab. And this one is where I will place some images that I've downloaded from royalty free sites that I could use in my book. One note is great as you can place these images within the notebook and also view them as they appear. It keeps everything in one place and it gives me the ability to even download them from OneNote to use in Word or any other program I intend to use to publish my book. So it's a great way to keep things together, to give you an idea of what material you may use as you create your book. So I'll create another tab here now where I will add my draft manuscript once I have it edited. 
and another tab where I will add my book cover designs. There's no hard and fast rule of what you call the tabs. It's just entirely up to you what works for you. I like how you can add pages to these tabs and perhaps have your draft a final page of the end result. In this tab, I'll keep the results from the research I've conducted using Publisher Rocket and any other research I may have conducted with perhaps using Bookbolt keyword research or other research methods. It is a great way to keep everything together. So OneNote is a versatile note-taking program that can help you organise your thoughts, research and content while creating a book for Kindle Direct Publishing. With its easy to use interface and powerful features, OneNote can streamline your writing process and make it more efficient. OneNote allows you to create notebooks, sections and pages, making it easy to categorise and organise your book's content. You can create a dedicated notebook for your book project and divide it into sections for chapters, research and notes. You can easily collect and store research materials such as articles, images and PDFs within OneNote. This helps you keep all your resources in one place, making it easy to reference them while writing your book. Another good feature of OneNote is its collaboration. If you're working with a co-author or editor, OneNote's collaboration features allow you to share your notebook and work together in real time. This can help streamline the editing process, ensure everyone is on the same page. OneNote is available on multiple platforms including Windows, Mac OS, iOS and Android. This means you can access your book project from any device, making it easy to work on your book whenever inspiration strikes. Once your book is complete, you can easily transfer OneNote content to a Word document, which can then be formatted and uploaded to Kindle Direct Publishing. You can also convert the Word document manuscript to a PDF format and import into BookBolt to ensure your final formatting is correct. By leveraging OneNote's powerful features, you can create a well-organised and efficient workflow for your book project. Ultimately, making the process of publishing on Kindle Direct Publishing smoother and more enjoyable. By following these steps, you'll be well on your way to creating and publishing a successful how-to book for Kindle Direct Publishing. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and happy publishing.